Hey, what's going on everybody? Well listen, we are back for another video today and today we're actually gonna be focusing on turtles again. This time, however, it's gonna be on the turtles that we already had, which is the little pink belly side neck and the little musk turtle. So that's, uh, you know, Elon the musk turtle. Now we'll ask you, what do you think we should name the pink belly? I've yet to name her. We don't even have a name for her, but we're gonna be focusing on that today. And if you look right back here, I got my scaping table set up. We're gonna be scaping outside because it's a beautiful day here in Texas. It's just about 70 degrees. We're gonna be totally redoing this enclosure. So if you look right here, you know, this is where I built the waterfall for this thing and it was based on learning how to do this from Pyro Toad using the foam and using all that kind of stuff. One thing that I did learn from this process is, is always wear gloves. We're gonna be using waterfall foam today. We're gonna be using coconut fiber. We're gonna be using moss. We're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned and let's take a look at what we got. All right, well, what we have here is we have a 20 gallon long and I actually went ahead and bought a new one. I don't wanna repurpose the other one because I'd have to displace those poor little turtles for a while. So we're just gonna build one. We'll reuse that 20 gallon long in there for something else later on. We picked up this ZooMed Turtle Clean 38 which will do up to 30 gallons and that'll be perfect for this I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or if I'm gonna use the one that I used in the last video Which is the turtle clean 15, but we'll figure that out later on We have some hose because there is something that we're gonna be using this for this hose will actually fit on this filter as well as the other Filter, but we'll get into that in just a minute. We also have some waterfall foam sealant We're also gonna be using this light diffuser right here So yeah, but let's get into building this thing first thing that I'm gonna need to do is I need to cut a few pieces of this And I'm gonna show you why in just a minute but let's go ahead and get this cut down and what I need to cut it for is I need to cut it from the width of this and then we're gonna decide how long in just a moment but let's start cutting that now all right look in here I used a dry erase marker and kind of drew on here what I want this to kind of look like so this is gonna be the shape of what I'm trying to build with this light diffuser right here so we're gonna go ahead and start on that so I need a piece about this wide right here all right so step one is complete we have the base of this thing built now we need to just keep building along this line right here and if you notice i left about two and a half inches above this and the reason for that is is because i need waterfall foam on top of that so we're going to go ahead and move down to this piece here and keep moving down until we're at the very bottom all right guys well off camera i have created this little structure here out of light diffuser and zip ties and really the purpose of this is you notice it kind of goes along with that line right there so now is the moment of truth and now what we got to do is see if this thing is going to actually fit in this tank so let's get into that now and see we have our base structure done so we're going to start looking at how we're going to actually make this and manipulate it to work. Let's see how this is going to turn out. All right, guys. Well, I just showed you how this contraption was going to sit in here. But what I did not tell you about is the fact that the filter is actually going to be hid up underneath here. And you won't be able to see it. There will be a little trap door over the top of it that will allow you to access it. So when that trap door is moved, basically I can get my whole hand in here. And I can disconnect the hose, remove the filter, and be able to maintain the filter. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to take test the water flow on this before we get any further see if we need to adjust the hose one side of the hose is going to come up to the top here we're not going to talk about why but we'll show you in a little bit and then the second hose is going to come out the bottom and will actually come all the way down here and that's just to get water flow to the other side of the tank so let's go ahead and get some water in this thing and test this water flow we have everything set up here i just need to test the water flow i need to make sure that water comes out of this part of the hose as well as this part of the hose i would say that we are successful all right well we have everything set up in here i put a little bit of mesh over this obviously water needs to be able to get back into here so i put some mesh over here we're going to actually make some ports here for the water to get back up underneath here and the mesh will prevent any fish that are going to go in here such as the neon tetra that's already in the turtle tank as well as the clown pleco to not be able to get back up in here we're going to go ahead and start the fun part which is foaming so let's get this done number one rule about using waterfall foam is always make sure you wear your gloves and if you don't remember or you're new to my channel well uh when i built the last turtle enclosure yeah i had this stuff on my hands for weeks and weeks it took almost a month to fully get it off of everything so always wear gloves what we're gonna do is just literally start building a scape all right guys well it doesn't look like a whole lot right now it actually kind of looks like a volcano has erupted and there is a bunch of dried lava but um yeah this stuff is starting to dry as you can see however we're gonna have to let this dry for quite some time in order to actually start carving this now what I'm gonna show you real quick in the top right here you have a full entry access port that'll give you access to be able to unhook the hose pull the filter out and actually 
maintain the tank. Now, there's one hose that comes down here, and that is literally for the fresh water from the filter to be pushed down to this end of the tank, so it's constantly cycling water. This hose here is coming out of the top, which is going to be used for something specific, which we will take a look at here later on once we're able to start carving this thing. Alright guys, well it's the next day, and guess what? Our foam is hard, so it's time to start carving this. What we're gonna start with is we're gonna actually start up here and carving this little landing area down some. And how we're gonna accomplish that is with a pocket knife. It's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and start cutting away at this foam. And as you start cutting, start breaking this stuff off. Now as you're cutting this, if you come across any wet foam, just put your piece of foam that you just cut off back over top of it and let it stay and dry. You don't want to cut into the wet foam. Now if you remember, I put this line right here to kind of give me a guide of how this was going to look. Alright, well I now have this flat area kind of cut down to where I want it. I'm going to start carving back down this way towards the bottom of the tank. I'm going to set up a time lapse. Let's see how this turns out. All right, guys. Well, I got the initial carving done. And basically what I've done is I have made this a smooth, flat lying area for the turtle to be able to walk up onto and get up here. What we need to do is we need to start siliconing this stuff in. And how we're going to do that is very gently some dark brown silicone. And we're going to start putting this stuff all over the foam and brushing it on. Now, I am actually going to start with this cutout that comes in right here. And if you can't figure out what that is, well, then just start paying attention because I'm I'm about to show you because this is actually going to be really cool I think so let's get to this all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start laying this silicone right down in the bed of this carving get it a nice little thick layer and then I'm gonna come back with this little paintbrush and what I want to do is I want to get this nice and covered everywhere I possibly can as much as I possibly can and this is gonna take quite a bit of silicone and that's okay we got plenty of it today all right and we have that silicone on there now we're going to come over here and we're going to take these little tiny river pebbles and we're going to start sprinkling these down inside of here and if they get silicone on them it's not a big deal okay so i have started this here and essentially we have some coconut fiber and some rock silicone down into this riverbed if you have not figured out what it was yet that's exactly what it is so the water is actually going to flow from up here down here hit these rocks bounce back over come down this waterfall and then hit the water right here where the turtles will actually live so we're slowly getting everything put together i'm going to continue this here all right guys well i have finished a good bit of this build off camera but I wanted to stop and show you the progress real quick before we go any further so you can kind of just you know go along with me here we have a little pond right here that basically is going to feed into this waterway down here it'll hit these rocks come down here falling down this little waterfall and into the water right here now what this over here is going to be is this is actually the little walkway up for the turtles water level is going to be about this high right here so they'll be able to actually swim up and then walk up and then up here will actually be their little basking area I have some moss on here we have a hole here this is actually going to be a plant and then there will actually be a plant up here as well we'll have the little trap door right here which I've actually started building I was going to use a piece of foam that I formed however it did not work out well so as you can see we take this sit it down inside of here the moss keeps it protected where you can't tell that it's a trap door and then we'll have some other things over here so that's the first start of it and then I'll show you how we're actually gonna get this thing out once we get it all built out for now everything is coming together so I want to go ahead and get this thing finished up and uh, yeah I'll check back with you guys here in just a little bit well guys if you notice on this side of the tank it's real dark and on this side it's kind of light and the reason is is because for whatever reason the caulk that I used did not dry. But now I'm gonna have to scrape all this stuff off, cut the foam away, and re caulk it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and then yeah, we'll get back into this. All right, guys, well, we got all the caulk scraped away, we got it re caulked in, and it's all nice and dry now, which is fantastic. And yeah, we're pretty much done with the skate. So let's go over this real quick. We have kind of what you would consider the waterfall head here that's gonna bring down water all the way through here, and then it's gonna spill down into the tank here. We have a hole here. Here that's actually going to house a plant we have another hole here that's going to house 
housing plant. We have the trap door right here where you're gonna have access to the filter. And then right down here, we have this little rock embankment. If you look through that tube, that tube actually runs all the way up underneath here, as you can see, all the way into the water section. And what that'll do is allow water to travel from the water here back through there. Because honestly, with all of the silicone that's around the base of this and every all the silicone on top, there will be no leakage down through this into that water section. So there has to be something to get water back there. Now, to protect the small number of fish that will be in here, which will be one little pleco, there will actually be a piece of filter media stuffed in here. I just put this rock embankment in, so we're going to let that dry. But right now, we're going to go ahead and get these plants in here, and we're going to finish up the trap door and get this thing together. I trimmed down the hose in the little pond area up here. I cleaned everything out. And now it's just time to get the trap door on, which the trap door looks like this. What will happen is, is the turtles can come up here, sit on these rocks and bask. Right now, all we're going to do is get the filter in here and fill this thing up with water and see what the waterfall looks like. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get this filter system in here. And it's really just going to put right up against the glass here. Got suction cups on it, so it'll stay right there. And then on the front of it, we are going to attach the connector. And this connector on this particular type of pump can actually be dialed in to to control the flow. So we're actually gonna turn it down to the minimum to start and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get water in this thing and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we got everything set up. We have all of it hooked up and now it's just time to test the waterfall and the river. Well, we have water. We have a river flowing perfectly inside of our tank. And now it's as simple as just adding rock to redirect flow. But if you put rocks in here, you can literally redirect the flow if you wanted to. But the flow to me looks good. We have plenty of flow. Keep everything safe and happy in here. Now this actually pumps fresh water down here. If we wanted to increase the flow of the waterfall, we could literally just put something into the end of it and it would actually increase the flow. We don't want to do that because the flow right there is really good but we could if we needed to. So we're going to go ahead and get this stuff planted and we'll check back in on it in just a second. All right, guys. Well, we actually put the rabbit foot fern up here and the little pink vein plant down here. I think it looks pretty awesome. You know, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think about this thing. I personally love it. I think it's amazing looking and turned out really, really well. Max absolutely loves it and that's what's important to me. So we're going to go ahead and dump this water out and drain it and get all this debris out and we'll be good to go. Let's get this thing finished up we'll get some substrate in the bottom here we'll get this thing where it's gonna go in the fish room all right guys well we got everything set up in the fish room and now we just need to get substrate in here so we're gonna go ahead and do that now everything is in here and ready to go i have the heater down here as well with the obviously the pump that is in here with the filter we have substrate in here rock that's large enough that the turtles can't eat we have some filter floss in that intake right there so nothing can get up in there all that's left is to put water in here get some dechlorinator some bacteria get the fish and the turtles in this thing so let's get that done now all right well we went ahead and dechlorinated the water we also added some instant bacteria to the water to the filtration system and that is really because in this tank down here that used to be sitting right here there is one small clown pleco and one neon tetra those will be relocated into this tank right here you can see this whole side this is not going to be like this i'm actually going to be taking some black acrylic paint the same type of paint you would use to paint the background of an aquarium and i'm actually going to line it right here just above where you see this stuff and then black this out so you are not able to see that so we are going to go ahead and round up these two little turtles and the two little fish and get those in here now here is my little pink belly side neck. So we're going to go ahead and put her right up here. Just see what she does. So we're going to grab little Elon the musk turtle. And we're going to get Elon in here. See what Elon wants to do. Now I said I was going to put this neon tetra, this one neon tetra in with other turtles again. But I'm actually not. I'm going to put him in here. Just simply because they should be in a group. He'll be good in here with the other neon tetras. I don't want him to be by himself any longer. It's really not a good the practice to have. And we're good to go.
All right, guys. Well, hopefully you went on to enjoy today's video and hopefully you enjoyed this new enclosure that we just built out. I know Max loves it. I think it's really cool. Hopefully you guys do too. And make sure you comment below and give us a name for this little pink belly side neck. You know, we've had her for quite some time and she just, she doesn't have a name and we really need a name for her. So go ahead and comment below. And if you do, you know, maybe I'll choose a random winner for some more merch. So, and if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and do that as well. And also if you haven't subscribed, please do that too. And maybe follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, all that good stuff. Thank you so very much. And hey, we will see you next time.